Cougars back to the Bluegrass State today, back to the very beginnings of playoff football some 13 years ago. Hi everybody, I'm Joe Parson, along with Art Mandelbaum and the Judge Phil Hauk. Welcome in to Toyota Stadium. The year was 1999. USF was riding a seven-game winning streak and had qualified for the NAI playoffs in just the second year of its existence. St. Francis was pounded, though, here by the Tigers in that first playoff experience, 38-0. USF would make four straight playoff trips to the Bluegrass State, each ending the season for Cougar football. St. Francis tries to turn it all around here today, looking for a first ever playoff win in Kentucky. At the right side hash mark at midfield, Fawcett with an offset eye in the backfield. Here's a blitz coming through, but Fawcett is going to be sacked as Rebenstadt got to him. And uh, Vandenbosch was there as well, a lot of help, and it's a sack back around the 42-yard line. So Fawcett, who uh, you mentioned early that uh, the Tigers given up 29 sacks. That's one there, and they'll lose about seven or eight yards. About 37 and a half yards of punt head along the 48. They, they're going to go for it on fourth down. Here's a ball up, and that's one is intercepted and then dropped as the Cougars had it in their hands for a moment right into the hands on the fake. Keith Harris had it for a moment but couldn't hold on. But the fourth down fake fails, and St. Francis will take over at their own 45-yard line. Second possession of the ball game for the Tigers. Moving left to right. Here's a run up the middle. Nothing there. Boy, I tell you what, Bauman came in, closed quickly from late, and shut that down in a hurry for no gain. Fawcett out of the gun. Little movement at the line of scrimmage. Here's the snap, and here's Fawcett looking, and he'll be sacked again. Went down to one knee as Brody Kelbo. I'd go down, too, if Brody's coming at you. They come up and press coverage on Aaron. And here is Bozier drop. The rush is on. Looks, throws over the middle, and he's got a catch for a first down. Is that boost to money? No. Oh. It's going to be Austin Coleman found a, a opening enough protecting the ball as he fell down up around the USF 48-yard line. They'll move the chains and the Cougars with the, their first first down of the ball game. It'll be third down in six, let's call it, in Bozier with three wide to the left side. Looks, throws the ball in the slot, knocked down at the line of scrimmage. And then Bozier's muscled down well after the play. He caught it. He, he, he got that down and he caught it. So it's going to be a, a pass to himself. Spread offense once again, two wide either side of the field, pass at the throw. Looks left, throws left, and there's a big catch, but a big hit as well. Cougars came up and closed quickly on the receiver. That did, was a catch good for about four yards. Georgetown was short of man, but they uh, bring one out now. Here's the snap, and it's dropped by the punter. Looking to kick it away, got it away high. It's short, and will come down around the 30 and takes a Cougar bounce up field to the 25-yard line. So that was a punt of zero yards. It started at the 26, and I think they're going to mark it. Actually, it's a negative one-yard punt. Yard line if they can for the year, 43% on third downs. Here's Bozier, airs it out, and there's a catch inside the 10. Armando Bustamani will have it first and goal for USF inside the 10 at about the 9. Campbell is the running back, the uh, halfback to the left side. Here's Austin Coleman, but the counter run to the right, and not much there for uh, Campbell as he cuts down to the six-yard line. Up on the wing to the right side, Austin Coleman. He comes in motion. Right to left behind the line of scrimmage. Play action fake. No, they gave it off the Friday. He scooches down and gets down inside the two. Close to the one-yard line. It'll bring up third down and short. Bozier under center. Third down in less than two yards. And there's Campbell trying to break the plane of the goal. No indication by the officials yet. And they're oh, looking. No. It'll be fourth down. <laughs> wow. A rule he did not break the plane of the goal, if you can believe that. I can't believe that. I mean, they're looking at it right down there. I know Phil's down on the goal line, and he's on the opposite oh, side of the field from where Campbell went. Phil, what would you think? Great view of that play, guys, and I thought certainly that he had pushed his forward progress over the goal line. Now we're seeing the fourth and short. Back to you. Let's see if Bozier calls his own number now. He's got some uh, good ability as well. Bozier taking a look. Under center now, re ready to receive the snap from Wyatt Tungle. He'll hand the ball off, and not much there. As Campbell's dropped for a loss at the three. Joe, I don't like the call. Nope. I do not like the call. 
Second down and nine. Blitz coming defensive left side. Fawcett screens to the left. He's got Logan Osborne. What a hit. Drives the feet out at the 21-yard line. And what a play that time by USF defensively. Eric Humphrey, Joe, came up from the safety position. That's exactly what he's supposed to do. Stay back there, wait and see the play develop, and come get him. Right side with three wide. Short drop. Throws the ball. He's got a catch, and that's it into Tiger territory. It was Kobe Fry, a little quick hitting play, pitch and catch, and he carries after the catch inside the 49-yard line of the Tigers. Third down and eight from the 46-yard line. Bosher trying to come up with a big play here. Long count from the line of scrimmage again. Wants to throw, sets up, looks, and lost the ball. That was his arm. It was. They'll rule it. Moving forward, a forward pass incomplete. Second down and 10 with the ball at the 35-yard line. 6.54 remaining, a little movement defensively. Here's the draw coming up and a run and some running room as there's a okay. first down and much more. The Cougars cannot wrap up. It's Zach Souders all the way into Cougar territory down to the 40-yard line. 20. Three missed tackles at least. 25 yards on that carry, the fifth first down for Georgetown. And they've got it at the Cougar 40-yard line. Short drop and pass is going to be spun around, and they didn't finish. He's still on his feet, throws downfield, has got a man down, and there's a catch by Minnis, comes back at the 22-yard line. Wow, they're going to get 18 yards on a play when we should have had a loss of about seven or eight. It was Rashad Mason, by the way. He's also 6'5". Kyle Pettit had to come uh, and want to make sure of the snap count. Empty backfield, here's the, and then they've got him sacked back. Posset is down, back outside the 15 to the 16 yard line. That was Tony Moore, Joe, who got past, he did a swim move past the right tackle. And he pancaked right. Posset. Yes. Oh boy, he smacked Posset all the way back at the 14, a loss of six. A field goal from 31 yards out, waiting for the snap. Low snap, got the kick away, and it's long enough, and it is good. 3-0 on the 31-yard field goal with 2.43 remaining here in the second quarter. First and 10, Bozier checking that to Tiger defense. Looks on the draw, hands to Wolf. Sorning, Sorum steps out of a tackle, 40-45, and up to midfield. That's a first down for USF. Boy, you can hear the Cougar crash across the way. They marked the ball a good yard shy. He was across the 50-yard line. They marked it on our side of the 50. Tell you, we're in Canton, Ohio again. Here we go, Bosher to throw the ball. He's got Knight for a first down inside the 45 of Georgetown to the 44-yard line. Bosher with Fry up on the wing to the right side. Second down and 10. Short drop. Looks right. Looks off. Taking too much time now. Has some running room, but he'll throw the ball anyway up for grabs. That one is up for grabs and intercepted inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. And Bozier out of the pistol with a running back, and he'll hand the ball off to Campbell, and Campbell tripped up, but still driving up to the 25-yard line, and got another yard and a half, just short of the 27. The gain is seven, second and three. They'll go to Campbell again, and spins off a tackle, and he's to the 30, to the 31-yard line, and that's making something out of nothing. They had him cold stone in the backfield for a loss. Frank Keller could not finish. Now they've got a new first down with three wide to the left side. They want to run again, and Campbell off tackle the left into the secondary across the 40 and up to the 42-yard line. That'll be a gain of at least nine, depending on the spot of the ball. Maybe a first down. They're going to move them back to the 42. Play clock is at six, at five. Motion by Fry left to right. And here's Bozier. Got the playoff. Rush is coming. Screen the ball. Boy, that's a bad decision. As he threw it right into the teeth of the defense, you got to recognize that, read it, and throw it away. He didn't, didn't pay the price. Defensive lineman intercepted it. They had Frank, Fr oh, now they're saying it's incomplete. Had a problem in the first half and uh, ended up with a negative yardage punt. Low snap again, gets this one away. A high, wobbly ball. Aaron Knight calls fair catch and bobbles the football, and Georgetown's got it at the 25-yard line. So mistakes hurting USF as Georgetown will retain possession, possession of the ball at the Cougar, well, the 26-yard line. Call it second down 11 from the right side hash mark. Motion by Schmitz from right to left. Play action fake. And here is Pasta throws the fade oh to the left corner. He's got a man wide open. Easy catch, touchdown. That one is good for 26 yards and a Tiger touchdown. And I believe that was Rashad Mason on the receiving end. 10 men up on the line of scrimmage. Now they rush. Now they will fake the ball. And that is blown up. It'll be Georgetown in position at the 12-yard line. They Short gave it snap. Yeah, they snapped it to Matheson, Joe. The freshman from Cherubusco. Fawcett running back behind him. 
under center ready to take the snap. And look, short drop wants to throw the fade. That one's too far. And a fingertip catch for a touchdown. A touchdown, it'll be good for third, 14 yards. And Goman on the, I thought it was too far, but Goman just ran underneath it. One play scoring drive at the 436 mark. Second down in 10. Clock stopped with 431 remaining here in the third quarter. 17-0 Georgetown. And the draw is Wolf. Wolf trying to break it. Turns the corner. 35, 40, 45. Got a man to beat. Caught from behind inside the Tiger. 45 down to the 41-yard line. Nice run by Frank Wolf. Well, it wasn't up the middle arc, but very, very effective. Fourth down and long. Cougars maybe the game riding right here, trying to get to a new set of downs. Bozier pulls it right. down. Can he run? He will run. He's to the Keep 30, going. to the 25, to the 20, 15, and angles out of bounds around the 12-yard line. Great decision that time. Bozier open field ahead to his left, recognized and picks up big real estate. Goal line offense comes in. Andre Turner now is the fullback. As Bozier under center, hands the ball off, and here's Wolf and trying to break it outside. Has Bozier as a lead blocker, and he'll take it into the end zone. A touchdown run, 12 yards by Frank Wolf with a little help from his buddy Justin Bozier with a lead block at the 243 mark. And Joe Bozier sprung him free. As you said, it was it was a design play to go to the right. Frank Wolf saw it was clogged up, so he turned and went outside to the left and avoided a tackle in the backfield. Bozier saw that he was going to run that direction, so he ran ahead, knocked down the linebacker, and Frank Wolf got ahead of steam for a touchdown. So the Cougars on the board cut it to 11. Cougars, let's see, they have three down defensive linemen, and uh, Blitz is coming. Posset uh, will throw to the right corner. He's got a man wide open, a catch, and a touchdown again. Alan Richardson got beat on the play, as on the receiving end was Rob Maiden. Joe, I happen to be watching that play, and I'm not looking to make excuses, but they, he pushed off, Maiden pushed off so badly just as the ball got released. Here comes the kick, and that'll be driving, and uh, Coleman lets it bounce, hits on a knee at the one, picks it up, looking at the five, and uh, going nowhere. Hit hard, driven back. Well, they're showing no mercy today. He'll get it out across the five only. It'll be a tough situation once again for St. Hey, Francis, man, bottled up as Bozier will take the snap from the one yard line into the end zone, screams the ball, he's got it the night night with some running room to the 10, 15, 20, lost the football, Georgetown's got it, and they'll have it first and 10 inside the Cougar 20. One back look, we've got three wide to the four wide to the left side, one wide to the right, and big splits in there as well. Fawcett looking for the fade, now flush, rolls to his right, and throws to the back side, that one's picked off! Cowball. And Cowball to the 15, and out of bounds near side as the first enter, and now we've got penalty flags, and but a wear down by Georgetown with this offense. And here is Bozier, pump fake, and boy, he almost gave the ball up. He's sacked back around inside the two. And this has just not been Justin Bozier's day for decision making. Tight formation here by the Tigers, now with a big lead. Just one wide to the right, Goman's in, but tight to the left side. Offset eye to the left, they'll run the ball, and that's a good ankle tackle that time. And Boy, Derek Vandenbosch, but third down and long. Posset on the draw, hands it off, and a good staying with the play that time. Tell you what, Devin Rush was blocked on the play, fought through the block, and uh, brings Thank down the ball run. carrier for a very short gain. Well, so well, fourth well, down well. and still long coming up. Here it's 24-7, Tigers trying to take a 12-0 record into the semifinals. Here's a catch in traffic. That's a good job that time. Ball is caught for a first down Betcher. across the way by Betcher. Aaron Betcher across the 30 plus the 31 yard line. Then Betcher sets up wide to left. Did he get set? He did. He's got time with still 22 on the play clock. Throw to the right. That one jumping the roof, but the catch is made by Knight, and he fights his way up close to the 40, depending where he stepped out of bounds. Just under eight minutes, time remaining. Blitz coming defensive left side for the uh, Tigers. Bozier. Time in the pocket, now flush to his right, sets his feet, throws over the middle, has got Bustamani inside the 30 to the 25, and down to the 23-yard line goes Armando Bustamani. Cougars had a couple of slips early in the ball game. Here is Abosia, rolls to his left, pressure's coming there, he steps out of it, runs to the 30, throws to the end zone, has got a man, touchdown! Kobe Fry, as it'll be a touchdown toss of 24 yards at the 727 mark, and the Cougars are not done yet. Well, it's going to take something crazy. As I said before, 
They're lining up for an onside kick attempt. Here's a high chop, and that one is caught. And it'll be first and 10, Georgetown at the 42. They got some of the good hands people on it for the all-time active wins for a head coach in AIA. And here's a sweep on the reverse coming back to the left. And they've got the hand ball into the hand second effort. Did they get the first down? That was Burdett. Now for down and boy, boy sure wasn't expect, expecting the snap has got it and oh he'll boy, kick it. Safety. That'll be a safety and that will officially end it. So it'll be a Georgetown victory here at home as they scored just a made a three nothing lead stand up. And they'll win it by a final score of 26 to 14 over the ninth ranked Cougars here at uh, Toyota Stadium. 26 14 our final score. USF uh, just too many mistakes here today. Well, you know, we had bitten, we'd gotten rid of the turnover bug for the most part the last few games, and that helped us dramatically. Central State and uh, Missouri Valley, we, we turned it over three times today. And we were plus four over the last three games as well. Not today. Judge uh, Phil Hawk getting ready to chat with uh, head coach Kevin Daly. As he, uh, remember, the, the, he's coached most of these guys, or they played with them either here or somewhere else, let's get on with the judge and the coach. Well, coach, you uh, you taught a lot of these guys how to play football, and uh, every time today you got some momentum, it seemed like they had an answer for it. Well, yeah, I, we didn't play a good football game. They would make too many mistakes to win. Um, they're a good team. We're a good team, but we, we made some errors today, and that cost us. Talk right. about the decision. You got it within two scores, uh, eight minutes left on the clock, and you can either kick the ball deep or go for the onside kick. You decided to roll the dice. Talk about that decision. What do we have to lose? Well, I mean, we're going for it at this point. I uh, thought we could get it. Yeah, maybe hindsight's 20 20. Your football team overcame a lot this year at midseason. Injuries, a really difficult schedule this year to have a lot of success. Unfortunately, at this level, all, all the teams except one are going to end up with a loss. That's true. I mean, you know, we've uh, turned things around since October and, and really played some good football here to the end. Uh, we'd have loved to have gotten this one today, but fell a little short. Okay, congratulations, Coach, on a great season. I know we'll be back at them next year.